Okay, we're back here at EMC World, Silicon Angle's exclusive coverage of EMC World uh, 2013. I'm John Furrier, the founder of Silicon Angle. I'm joined with Winston, the, our news correspondent, Winston Edmonds. Welcome back. Thank you, sir. Uh, this is our prime time segment. We, all, we basically break down what's going on in the market uh, and the news, and obviously here at EMC World, um, top story really today is about hyperscale. Um, the hyperscale story has evolved from web companies to now the enterprise. And one major player in the hyperscale uh, market, one of the main catalysts for this massive transformation is a company called Fusion IO. Fusion IO really set the, set the stage for what we're seeing now in innovation around Flash, and that innovation has turbocharged, it has accelerated the scale out open source paradigm, which we call hyperscale, defined by the big web companies, Google, Facebook, of which is referenced heavily at EMC World here, as EMC execs point to Google as the example of what the private cloud will look like. These web scale companies like Google, Facebook, and others set the table for what is going on in hyperscale, and Flash is the key part of it. Top story today is Fusion IO uh, CEO David Flynn and Rick White have abruptly resigned or quit or fired. We don't know. We're going to be investigating that. Dave Vellante and David Floyer are actually investigating that right now on the phone and talking to some folks right now, trying to get all the data as well as SiliconANGLE. Go to siliconangle.com and see the post by Mike Wheatley around some of the breaking analysis around Fusion IO. So stay tuned, this is breaking news, Fusion IO. What does this mean? Failed acquisition, uh, missed customer, earnings, all this stuff is in speculation. All the analysts are, do are down on this move. No one knows. So we're trying to get the information. So what we know right now is that they've stepped down, a press release has been issued, and it's pretty much dark, and we're hearing some rumblings from sources that they were abruptly uh, resigned. Now, they're both stars, and we're going to follow that, but their CEO, Shane Roberson, is no stranger to the marketplace. Solid reputation, although he was involved in the autonomy deal, which kind of gives a, a cloud around his reputation given his relationship with Leo Apotheker, the failed CEO at HP. Um, according to my sources, Shane Roberson is a solid executive who's done some really good deals for HP, has been involved in strategy and technology for HP, and has an impeccable reputation, and uh, is known as a good leader amongst executives, great strategic, and also a tactical executor and manager. So um, we're going to be watching in, and we hope to get Shane Roberson on theCUBE here live remotely, and we'll stay tuned and look for that. Uh, Winston, so uh, Hyperscale, Fusion IO News, we've, we've covered, it's on still thing, we'll continue to monitor that. Um, we had a chance to interview another Hyperscale player here at EMC World, right. Isilon. Pretty exciting stuff, you know, what I'm doing is I'm on the floor and I'm looking for the energy, and the energy took me straight to Isilon. I mean, we've got huge crowds of customers that are looking for solutions, and you're right, they are familiar with the success of Facebook and, and Google, so when you talk about the millions and millions of files that, uh, take for example the, the photos that Facebook has to deal with, customers can relate, and you know, let's say a customer has medical images that they need to handle, well Isilon is a product that they can, they can use to do that, so it's, it makes sense to, that that is the most popular uh, booth in the back of this moment. And they're, and they're getting huge demand, I mean they're exploding in growth. It's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's a, uh, an attest to their, their ability to predict where things are going because again, this explosion in, in, uh, in file size and the amount of unstructured data that companies have to deal with these days, uh, they need a turnkey solution and EMC has stepped up and, and providing that. Well, why don't you preview for the folks out there the clip that you had and then introduce the clip. Talk about what you guys, uh, what you did and then introduce the clip. Definitely. So again, I'm, I'm out there looking for energy and, and I, it led me to Isilon. Spoke with the uh, marketing manager, talked a little bit about uh, what the product does, why it came about, and uh, his, his uh, mar marketing tactic. Very interesting stuff. So let's look at that clip right now, Brian Cox from Isilon, and we'll be right back. And just and watch this coverage right here from SiliconANGLE and Winston's on the ground getting all the data. Winston Edmondson here with Studio B, checking in with Brian Cox from EMC Isilon. So I stopped here because out of all these uh, booths, this one is particularly busy. There's a lot of excitement. That's right. You got to tell me, what, fill me in, what's happening? Well, so what we have is we're really helping customers in regards to getting their arms around all this file data. Think about all the photos that you're uploading to Facebook, right? I think they're dealing with hundreds of millions of photos a day and you're part of it, right? But we're in business, we're the same thing, whether it's medical images, scanned documents, log files from all the internet searches, all these things are just contributing to an explosion of file growth. So what we're doing is help customers get around this challenge. So, 
Our theme here in the booth for Isilon is Captain Scale Out. So he's really every day Bob the IT guy, overwhelmed with customer demands, how to deal with all this file storage, demanding bosses saying shrink your budgets and get it done, and he's pulling his hair out, but he's found the answer, what has made his conversion, right, uh, is Isilon. Right? He's been able to defeat the kryptonite of files with the new potion of Isilon to be able to handle petabyte scale in regards to all the files and unstructured data. It's the solution that everybody is rushing to because now they finally have an answer to this problem. They can convert from everyday Bob the IT guy into Captain Scale out themselves. So, so what you're telling me is that all these individuals are just overwhelmed IT personnel and they're coming to get rescued. This is uh... absolutely. <laughs> you know, they've been dealing with you know database transaction storage for years. They've mastered that, but now this new type of storage dealing with files and unstructured data is growing at six times that rate of what we're seeing with transactions. It's now 80 percent of everything that's stored in the world is file and unstructured data. So it is the elephant that's on the table that nobody's known how to deal with. Known how to talk about it, but now they have an opportunity to do so with Isilon. And that's why EMC bought Isilon just two and a half years ago, and now we're bringing this out to the full IT community. Smart move. It sounds like uh, this is going to be less of a hard sell and more of a, we're here to, to rescue you. I mean, it, it doesn't seem like anyone is uh, being persuaded. It seems like they're waiting in line to get some more information Absolutely. so they can get this done. It's the fastest growing business for EMC right now, is helping customers solve their big data problem. And that's what Iceland's here to do. That's why we have Captain Scale out to come to the rescue. Fantastic. Tell me about uh, EMC World this year. In your opinion, how is the, uh, the, the conference changing, evolving? What, what, are, what are you seeing? Well, I think there's some very exciting initiatives. What headlined it uh, this year was all about uh, software-defined storage. So we've solved the legs of you know, software-defined servers with VMware. Uh, software-defined networking with companies like NYSERA, which VMware bought, and what we're seeing from other networking companies. Now we're seeing the unleash of software-defined storage, so you can have a complete software-defined data center. And EMC is leading the way. I've talked to a number of analysts, and they say we are light years ahead of all the other vendors in regards to embracing this, because now we're bringing to the forefront the power of software to help solve this on a common hardware type of infrastructure and you know it's going to make things much more flexible, much less expensive, much easier to manage. It's it's going to be all good and EMC is leading the way on that. So that's the headliner and then complementing that is what we're going to be doing with this software defined storage which is named as Viper and how that works on the different platforms like Isilon. And Isilon itself continues to build out its capabilities as well. Moving from a lot of specialized verticals where we've been with you know media and entertainment and life sciences but moving deeply into the enterprise, so adding new capabilities. We announced uh, just this week in regards to space efficiency with deduplication, in regards to enhanced security with auditing capabilities, and, and just building out all of our solutions in mobility, working with simplicity, with analytics, dealing with Hadoop. Um, so it's just more and more solutions that we're making available to our customers to handle all their file challenges. Fantastic, now I can guarantee you that we've got some CIOs out there that are furiously jotting down notes about everything you're talking about, especially EMC Isilon. Uh, any other trends while we have their attention that you want to uh, mention that they should maybe look forward to as far as trends overall? Well, so you have your, your ongoing needs, right? Further demands for compliance, so you're going to have to protect your data for a very long time. So we've archiving solutions, things you're doing every day with collaboration, not only in your work groups with file shares, but doing this with online file sharing and collaboration tools like the simplicity that I that I mentioned. So that collaboration, mobility, our big trends, the whole analytics uh, is a big trend. But the other thing that we've also introduced is the ability for additional ways to get at this data. So, you know, in traditional files, we've been using well-known protocols, NFS, SIS SMB, but we've added to it a number of different interfaces for object technology, things like uh, S3-like interfaces such as you see from Amazon, are now native on Isilon. We're going to be adding OpenStack with Swift interfaces. So not only with file access, but also with different object access methods, you'll be able to get at this easy to manage, ever expanding pool of data from Isilon and get at from many different approaches. Just making it more interoperable and an easy fit 
for our customers. Pretty exciting. So for the folks watching that uh, unfortunately can't be here and, and, and see this live in person, what's the best way for them to get additional information? Well, we have a number of ways to go ahead and get that. Just get on to the EMC World site, which is running right now. There'll be you know, a number of pointers to different presentations, the keynotes that are uh, happening. Uh, you can also go to, of course, emc.com and go to the section in regards to uh, Isilon and all the things that we're doing in regards to big data storage. You get a bunch of information there as well. And there are iPad apps as well. You can go out and download the EMC mobile app and find information there. So you can take it on the go with you on your iPad. You can go to your uh, regular internet portal and pull up the website. Uh, lots of different ways to get that information. Fantastic. EMC Isilon, remember the name. Winston Edmondson, Studio B, signing. Scale out um, discussion with Isilon, of which was on theCUBE yesterday. Scale out, um, hyperscale is the trend, and uh, the top story here is, is that that's a big part of the theme here at EMC World and throughout the industry where Flash is at the center of the value proposition. Two big stories here at EMC World, obviously, it's the Flash discussion, the impact of Flash on their portfolio, and also the Viper which is the new software-led storage, software-defined storage from EMC. And this kind of dovetails into the news today with Fusion I.O. I want to talk a little bit about that as it relates to scale out and hyperscale. Fusion I.O. has the departure of their CEO, David Flynn and Rick White. We're getting more reports and more data. We don't know that much at this point. We are in contact with Fusion I.O. We hope to have Shane Roberson on theCUBE. But here's my analysis of what's happening. SiliconANGLE has a post by Mike Wheatley. And, um, uh, He's digging into it as well, and he's got a, a, an opinion. Um, basically, he's reporting that the market's confused, and certainly there is kind of a cliff effect here where without the lack of information, people are rushing to all kinds of conclusions. According to our sources is the abrupt resignation had to do with some sort of transition that just either wasn't well handled or an abrupt disagreement over something. No one knows what that is. Some are speculating uh, an M&A deal went bad or, and or uh, a lost customer. No one, no one knows as of right now. We will try to get them on the phone, um, and, but I am getting data from, the, from our sources that say that Fusion IO is not falling off a cliff. This company is really, really solid. We've been following these guys very, very closely. Um, they have a rock solid technology. They're doing a lot of work around expanding the Linux kernel and actually changing the software paradigm around Flash. And they're making great strides. My personal opinion is I don't think Wall Street understands the opportunity. I think it might be a buying opportunity for the stock. If the stock continues to fall, I see an opportunity for the stock because what will happen with Fusion is they have a lot of mid-market opportunities. The mid-range of their sweet spot is just now expanding. In fact, if you want to look at the value proposition of Fusion IO, their product fits perfectly into what EMC is trying to vector into, and that is the enterprise hyperscale market. And Fusion IO is perfectly positioned. They are transitioning into that space. If you look at the size of their revenue, if you look at the, the financial results, they do have some top customers, but that mid-range of the market, that's exploding for them, and I think that's undervalued in the current analyst marketplace. So again, I think the management changes have kind of confused the issue. We hope to have Shane Roberson on the, on the cube here. He might dial in via Skype or uh, remotely. We hope to have him hear from him. But he is no stranger, Shane Roberson is no stranger to Fusion IO. He's a director, he knows their business, he knows what's going on, maybe he can clear up some of the data. But the most part, the most important part is that Shane understands data management. When he was at HP, I talked to some sources this morning that told me that he was instrumental in some very key acquisitions at HP. We're going to try to chase those down. Of course, he has um, been involved with the autonomy deal. That, that, is, that is history right there, and that's unfortunately uh, a, 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 a black mark on his reputation, um, but that wasn't his fault. Um, we're getting word from folks at HP that worked with him, people and ex-HP employees that say Shane Roberson, solid executive, great with strategy, great with execution, and a great leader among, among executives, and that he will and will and can turn around uh, that ship and get that thing settled in at Fusion IO. So Fusion IO in turmoil today with the stock price, certainly the market's looking for data. We hope to provide that. Stay tuned to SiliconANGLE. Stay tuned here in the Cube here at EMC. We'll be providing updates throughout the day, live from EMC World on Fusion IO. Obviously this will affect the entire sector. Virident, violin memory, 
EMC, all playing in Flash. This is an interesting dynamic and we're going to start to see ripple effects. So we will get the data, we will get the story, and we're going to get it right. So stay tuned to SiliconANGLE here inside theCUBE. We'll be right back after this short break.